Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I had an idea of what might make a kind of fun video series. We all talk about what vehicles are selling and aren't selling and blah 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 blah. I thought it would be fun to kind of take a step back and look at what vehicles people aren't keeping. So if you guys like this idea, make sure you show it by liking, subscribing, all that good stuff. Leave some comments, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, let's get back to the point. So as many of you guys know, I work at a Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, Ram, and Kia store, okay? So some of the trades are obviously gonna be a little bit catered towards what we have, but I thought it would be cool, jump in, take a look at some of the things we took in on trade this week. This is where we bring them over before they go to the shop and before they get looked at and all that stuff. So they normally sit over here for a few days. So this is probably two or three days worth of trades. Just thought it would be interesting to kind of start a cool series. As you guys know from being people who buy cars, there's obviously a lot of reasons that people may trade something in. It may be too old, maybe having problems. They may need something bigger, they may have got a bigger trailer, any of those things could be the case, right? So, with that being said, there are some frequently traded in vehicles that obviously just aren't very good, right? People are getting rid of them because they're having problems. So see if you guys notice any particular patterns. So this one is the one I brought over here. This is a 2017 Jeep Cherokee. It's actually in pretty good shape. It has like 100,000 miles. Here we have a GMC Terrain. We have a couple really cool ones coming up, guys, so stay tuned. This looks like a Kia Optima of some kind, like a little bit of an older one. This is probably my favorite trade that I've taken in this week. This is a 2011 Jeep Grand Cherokee with 24,000 miles. If you guys don't know, I live in Arizona, so we have a lot of what we call snowbirds, okay? Now, basically what that means, people, you know, live here part of the year and don't the other part of the year. When it's really hot, they go back to wherever they're from. And when it cools off a little bit, they get out of the snow and off they come down here. So we call them snowbirds. They're like migrating birds, right? It's kind of a running joke here. But this car is like mint condition. <laughs> Looks better than some of the new cars we get in. They were from British Columbia and bought this car here to keep it their place here. They put 23,000 miles on it, bought it brand new. It's a one owner. It's a hell of a car. That is one of the coolest cars I've ever taken in. And then over here, we have a Chevy Equinox. Equinox, pretty commonly traded in vehicle, especially at our Kia store. Not a huge fan of these ones, but they seem to be okay. Obviously, being a CDJR, we got some Wranglers, guys. We're getting Wranglers in, selling new ones all the time. It's one of our most popular units. This one has the 1941 package, has, you know, the mountains over there. It's pretty cool. This one's pretty sweet looking. We got a Kia minivan right here. Looks pretty nice on the inside. Obviously, most of these are locked, so can't bust in and show them to you. This, this might be the actual coolest trade of the week, aside from that Grand Cherokee. This is a 2024 Toyota Grand Highlander. These things have been impossible to get a hold of from what I hear, around here anyways. And this person traded in a 2024 already. You wonder why that is and what on earth would they get? Well, I know they got a Kia of some kind. I don't remember exactly what it was, but 2024 Grand Highlander. Guys, that is a pretty, pretty sweet trade to have. Last I knew there was like three available in our state or something like that. I could be wrong. I don't do much with Toyotas, but that is a pretty sweet unit. Here we have another Jeep. This is a Cherokee. Yeah, we got another Jeep Cherokee hanging out around here. What do we got back here? This is another one that I took in personally. This is a 2018 Jeep Wrangler Sahara. It's in really, really good shape. The people took really good care of it. The interior is immaculate. The exterior looks really, really good. This is a really nice Jeep. Has like 90,000 miles somewhere in there. Really nice car. This is actually kind of a cool car. It's a 07 Chevy, I think it was a Malibu. It's got 151 on it, but it's actually not in bad shape. It runs good, drives good, relative for what it is. Yeah, it's a good little cheap unit for somebody. Over here, we again have a 2024 or three. I can't tell from here. That one is a Kia Seltos. If you guys don't know the Seltos, I'm a pretty big fan of them. I think they're really hard to beat for the money. And then over here, we have what looks like a Nissan sedan of some kind, probably an Altima or something like that. Yeah, looks like it. Somewhere in there. 
we got this Toyota over here. All of those cars are also trade-ins, but obviously if we went through all of those, it would take forever, but I'll walk over there and give you guys a peek at a few of them. So this isn't exactly a trade-in this week. This car actually has a pretty funny story. I started here three and a half years ago. And when I started here, this car was right here in the same exact position. I don't know if there's an issue with the title. It's something like that. There's something up with it that we can't sell it. We might give it away to somebody. If someone wants a free Mustang, let me know. And I'll see if I can get them to give it to you. You could have it shipped or something. That's pretty interesting. I know nothing about it other than it's been here since I've been here, which is kind of crazy. We got another old beater over here. We got an 02 Chevy Cavalier. That's a real sweetheart. What do we got here? We got the old Dodge Journey, baby. We got a Jeep Patriot. We got lots of Dodge stuff over here. Here's the Durango. What's this one? This is a Mazda of some kind, it looks like. Yeah. Ooh, this is not a Mazda. This is a Jaguar F-Pace. That's kind of a cool car. We got a Range Rover right here. This one looks like it's a little bit older, has some sun fading and everything. What else? Ooh, there's a gem for somebody right here, folks. That's a sweetheart. Lots of Jeeps, you can see lots of Jeeps. Obviously we're a Jeep store, so we're gonna get a lot of Jeeps in on trade. Same with Kia. Here we got a Beamer and a Lexus. This is the luxury aisle right here, baby, let me tell you. Ooh, check out this Chrysler. It's got, you know, no grill there for extra airflow. That's pretty sweet. Another Grand Cherokee right here. Another minivan, a Honda minivan. Right here, I'm really sad this truck didn't make it through. Obviously, if you guys watch the channel, you know I'm primarily a truck guy. If I remember right, what year was this one? This is a 2018 Ram 2500. I took it in on trade. The guy was actually really, really cool. He was a super cool dude. Had a check engine light. When he traded it in, it needed something. I don't remember, whatever it was. It was too much and we ended up wholesaling it, which is unfortunate. So whoever finds this truck at the auction or wherever it ends up, you're gonna have a hell of a rig because that is a very nice truck and it runs really well aside from that little check engine line. Here we have a newer Kia Sorento. That's a pretty nice car. This is an interesting looking Wrangler here. Got a little bit of a lift. This is actually a PV vehicle, so we purchased this vehicle from somebody. Got an old Dodge Grand Caravan, another Jeep Grand Cherokee, another flat tire special right here. Let me know if anyone wants a flat tire. We'll be happy to get that over to you. Got a Subaru SUV, looks like a Crosstrek or an Outback or something like that. Nice little Lexus SUV right here. Chrysler minivan, Honda sedan. So you guys can see, we get a ton, a ton, a ton of variety in on trade, constantly cycling through. Here we got an old Ford SUV. This looks like an Explorer, an Expedition or something like that. Yeah, it is an Explorer. See, it's on the tag right there. Very nice. Some kind of Honda SUV right here. Looks like a Pilot maybe. Oh, it's a CRV. Yep, duh, my bad. We got a Ford Escape or Edge or whatever they call those stupid cars. Now, here's a real sweet peach for somebody right here, buddy. The old Nissan, that thing's going straight to wholesale. This is a really nice car. Wow, why is this one going to wholesale, I wonder? 2018 Yukon XL Denali, and it's going straight to wholesale. I wonder what's wrong with it. Probably a lot, because it's a Chevy, you know what I mean? No, I'm kidding. So here we have Jeep, another Rubicon right here. This one's got a grill, <laughs> obviously it has a grill. This one's got a bumper and a winch and everything. Again, going to wholesale. You wonder what's wrong with some of these, man. We got an old Rubicon right here, buddy. This is an old school unit. Fairly old school, old school for modern times. Got a Chevy car and there's that same Honda. Those obviously aren't trades. Those are our new ProMasters. If you guys need anything in the van world, please let me know. Ooh, how could I forget about this? We took this motorhome in on trade the other day. That thing is actually pretty sick inside. It's like an 06 or 07. Doesn't have too many miles, but it's actually really, really cool. But yeah, so those are kind of the trades of the week, guys. That's mostly what's cycled here within the last, you know, probably week or two weeks when you come over to this side. Some of the stuff that hasn't made it to the shop yet or it's made it through the shop and we're ditching it. There's a lot of pretty cool rigs left over here that would probably be pretty sweet for somebody, but obviously if they have too many issues, we're not gonna sell them over here and just run into issues with reliability and angry customers and stuff like that. So 
you can see we got some more over there like i say let me know if this is kind of a series that you guys would be down to watch with a little bit more frequent basis we're constantly cycling through tons and tons of cool cars let me know what you guys think if you like what you see drop a like don't forget to subscribe leave me a comment let me know and we'll see you next time